Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a check of one of the most popular formations at the moment, the 5-3-2. Yes, the 5-3-2, not sure why I've gone there, but the 5-3-2 is the formation that we are focusing on today, guys. I'm going to be talking you through my custom tactics, my instructions, everything to do with the formation. Then what we'll be doing is taking a look at some gameplay for the actual team. I use it this weekend in Foot Champions. I'll be talking about my experience, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, remember to smash like and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. Hopefully you are enjoying the variety of uploads to the channel lately. And these videos are always one of my favorites because testing out new formations is nothing new to me. I've used a number of formations this year in FIFA. I'll show you my custom tactics. We've used lows, we've used 442, 41212 narrow, 41212 wide, 352, 433, 4334, 4321. We've tried pretty much all of these formations. So, yeah, it's a real good idea to sort of take a look and find out which ones are best. And this 532, there's been a lot of talk lately. Is it the new meta in FIFA 21? So, yeah, guys, this is the team we used. That messy team of the year loan card. Unfortunately, he is alone. Um, the only team of the year we have in the team, unless Jack Grealish somehow counts. But this is the team we used, and actually I'll talk about how we actually used it in-game. And then I think I'll talk about the most important positions for this actual team. And if you've seen any of my videos, you will know I just used, like to use balanced 5-5, five, five, balanced 5-5, five, five, 3 and then 2. I keep it all simple because, to be honest, I don't really like press after possession loss. I don't really like press on heavy touch. But with this 5-3-2 formation, what I was using, to be honest, was the press after possession loss. And quite a lot of the time, if it was in the second half we were losing, I would up the width, I would up the depth, get myself up the pitch. But predominantly, I'll start on 5-5 balance. I think it just depends on what your current sort of style is in FIFA. Now, this is how the team sets up. We go for Lionel Messi and Hyungmin Son up top, Bruno Fernandes, Gerrard and Grealish. The defence is where it's a bit of a shambles to be honest. Mendy is not very good in this formation. Campbell is shocking in this formation. Kante is good, Desai is good and Ansaldi is brilliant. But I'll talk through what you actually want in this team. So the two strikers for me, I want a striker who is able to be a false nine almost. The perfect combination would be Neymar and Mbappe. You want one player who is brilliant at picking the ball up, finding the passes. You want one player who is brilliant at running in behind, finishing those chances that are provided by your other striker. I love having two striker formations this year, and I think the brilliant thing with this formation is it brings that, but you also have the support of the midfielders. The midfielders for me, and I'll show you the instructions in a second, I like to have midfielders that are quite attacking because you have the three centre-backs. Obviously, Kante drops back into that centre-back role, which is fine. It just feels like a 4-1-2-1-2 where you tell him to sit in between the two defenders. I like to have Grealish, Gerrard, Bruno Fernandes all in that midfield, all pretty much box-to-box -box midfielders. Grealish being the one who you would say is more advanced and has more of a licence to get forward. And then the full-backs, guys. Ansaldi is good. He's a well-balanced right-back. Probably the best ones you could go for. Tavernier and that Trent Alexander-Arnold team of the year. But Ansaldi, he's a nice one nonetheless. Same for Furlan Mendy, he's got okay, but Theo Hernandez in this position, Alfonso Davies would just be an absolute joke, the team of the year card. If you can get any real good uh, fullback on this game, what you want to do is just have them as a pretty much an attacking threat. Try and go for an attacking fullback in this formation. Now these two centre-backs, Kante is fine, does the job brilliantly. The other two though, I like to use Aaron Wambasaka, that frees Aaron Wambasaka. He's got so much better dribbling than Sol Campbell, and this is so important for these two out-wide centre-backs. You want decent agility and balance on your centre-backs, otherwise you'll be left for dead, really. You'll be suffering. Perfect example would be team of your Sergio Ramos. Even the likes of Cannavaro, he is very um, decent at dribbling. He's able to turn quickly. For these two, you need them to be able to turn very quickly because you're normally pinned up against your opponent's wingers. Now, that pretty much covers the whole team. I would say that Steven Gerrard is probably the more defensive unit in this midfield. But we'll look at the instructions and actually tell the fullbacks to join the attack. I really like this and I think that yesterday in the Rooney review, I used Acuna, the showdown card, and he was brilliant. He scored a goal for me. Mendy could never. So, you want very good fullbacks in this team. The three centre-backs just on stay back whilst attacking. Now, for Jack Grealish. Um, he was actually on stay back whilst stacking. I don't think I applied that to him in game, but 
Stavagwas attacking, I probably sw swapped it around once I realized, but Stavagwas attacking, cover center, Steven Gerrard on get forward cover center, and then the other center mid, Stavagwas attacking cover center. That's not the perfect setup, to be honest, you'd probably want Grealish in the middle on get forward, then Bruno Fernandes, Steven Gerrard on the outside. Now for the two strikers, I just left on balance, but what you might want to do is you might want to put on false nine for the Lionel Messi or for whatever sort of striker you are using. But to be honest, I just like it on mixed. I think that it just works the best for me. You might prefer getting behind. I just like them to do what they do on the pitch and just sort of have a mixture of false nine, getting behind, come short for the ball. It is a real nice option for you to have. I don't think you want to force a sort of one way of playing. So those are the custom tactics and instructions. Obviously, you can tinker them as you do see fit. But for me personally, I just like balanced. I just sort of like that sort of relaxed, calm play. I don't my back line pushing so far out of its uh, defense, but it just depends on how you play, guys. So that is the team. That is the custom tactics and instructions. What we'll do now is we'll get into some highlights. I'll talk about the players in a bit more uh, detail, and I'll talk about how this formation actually played, and if it is the new meta. So guys, as we go into the highlights here, you can see in the first game we were 3-0 down in this one. We switched to the 5-3-2. Now this is where the game changed on its head. This is on 2200 skill rating in Division 1. We actually go press after possession loss. We actually go fast build up as well. And this completely changed the game on its head. I don't know in the first half whether I was just completely blown away by his tactics. But we swing the ball in there and you see that the right back is so, so important to how this play um, actually develops. So many chances come through your fullbacks. Tavernier is absolutely brilliant in that position. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold would be as well. It's just whatever can suit your budget, but I would definitely go for the more attacking fullbacks. Don't really try and worry too much about their defending capabilities because of the three centre-backs that you do have. Now, the three centre-backs, you want them to be fast, you want them to be pacing, and you want them to be agile. The one in the middle can probably be less agile than the outside two, but... I think the better, faster centre-backs that you have will definitely help you perform in this formation. Now, what did I think about it overall as we sort of get towards the end of the highlights? Just a few quick highlights, but I think it was a good formation. I think it was a fun formation. I think it's a lot more stable than the 3-5-2. The 3-5-2 feels totally different to this one, even with me telling my... Um, Fullbacks to get forward, it felt so much more secure. The midfield, the three definitely did a better job than the two in the 3 5 2. So, if you use the 3 5 2, you didn't really like it. Maybe try the 5 3 2. I don't think it's a ratty formation. I think people are sort of saying that you know, using the five but the back is being like a rat, but you're telling your fullbacks to get forward, you want your fullbacks to get involved. I think it's a good formation. I think it's a very strong formation, probably one of the more meta formations at the moment. If you get it in the foot draft, if you want to try in rivals, in foot champs, make sure to give it a go because I think you'll be seeing this a lot more in the future as a lot more people actually catch on to this formation, guys. But hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. If you did, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more PV21 content. I'll see you all in the next one.